have a job. Hello, it's Ame, and welcome to this episode of Blood, Sweat, and Beers, or a recap in the week of 100 Jobs. What's 100 Jobs? Well, it's a blog that I started where I'm trying to do 100 jobs for a minimum of $100 each. You can find the blog at 100jobs.blogspot.com or see my evolving resume at 100jobs.ca. You just spell it out. So what I'm doing here, not only am I talking about my crazy week in doing 100 jobs, uh, by the way, I'm up to job 30, looking for job 31, but I'm also reviewing beers because I figure, you know, after a long, hard week, what's better than a nice, cold beer? So this week, because I want to get to the beer before I start bitching about my week, <laughs> I am reviewing uh, XO beer, which is from Quebec. It's a beer that's mixed with cognac, and I'm going to rate it out of 10. I've also been using the how to rate beer article from ehow.com. So I'm going to put that right now on the chat, just in case you want to follow along and be pretentious and annoying with your friends and actually have a beer uh, rating evening. Uh, and here, here it goes. <coughs> So here we go, and I'm sending that on. So yes, indeed. Okay, now this is my glass. Uh, technically on the eHow article, I'm supposed to ensure that it's a clean glass. I don't know if you can see this, but it's like super spotty, but I don't give a shit because I barely have time to like brush my teeth, let alone properly wash my beer slash wine glasses. So, they give it a pour. <laughs> and as you'll notice, it doesn't fizz at all, only because I used this beer or half of it last night in my previous broadcast and uh, didn't buy two of them, just bought one of them, and so it's gone flat. So that's probably gonna affect my taste rating of the beer, but I don't care. So here we go, it's a nice amber color. I'm supposed to evaluate the color. It does usually have a nice head. It only doesn't have a nice head because I opened it last night for my last night's broadcast. And uh, giving a sniff, it smells very fruity. It's got beautiful like grape and plum peach notes. You know, I suppose that's the cognac that's in there. And a lot of honey. So I'm gonna take a sip. Amazing. Like seriously, this XO beer, which actually is bottled uh, in Quebec, is probably one of the best beers I've had. I mean, maybe some guys who want something a little less sweet will think that it's girly, but it's got this like caramel honey taste. It's well-rounded, it's strong, it's 8%. I just, I just think it's amazing. I give it two thumbs up, 9.5 out of 10 XO beer. And the brewing company is Benedictus. Benedictus. Cheers to that, I'm gonna keep going. So, about my week in 100 jobs. How was my week in 100 jobs? Well, I've come to realize that the setup that I have for this webcam is not good enough. It doesn't stream fast enough, uh, I'm choppy, and it's really hard to interact with people when the chat is delayed because my uh, transfer speed is so slow. So I'm gonna to have to fix that this week before I broadcast again. Another thing that I realized is that I have to have a little bit more structure. I realize now why there are writers for opening monologues uh, for shows like Jay Leto and Conan, if either one of them is still on, I don't even know. Because uh, otherwise you just sit there staring blankly at your audience, or in this case webcam, with not a lot of content that's entertaining going on. And I don't want that at all. So my week, okay, this week I did job 28, 29, and job 30. What was job 28? Well, my friend Cheryl announced that if I get a thousand Facebook fan page members, she's going to pay me a hundred bucks, which is super awesome. Uh, I think I'm up to about 175, 175 members, and if you type, although I know they just changed the Facebook layout page, which is like, which is like super fucking annoying, uh, if you type 100 jobs into the search bar, you'll find my fan page. And if you join, or you get a bunch of people to join, you'll know that you contributed actually 10 cents to my cause without ever, ever, ever having to actually open up your wallet. So cheers to that, please join. And I'm gonna get a prize. Actually, I bought a really funny book called The Art of Public Speaking that was published in 1978. 
And if somebody can get me 20 new followers within the next day, I will actually mail them the book. So that's my promise to either one of you, whether or not you're watching this on YouTube or you're watching this on Ustream, get me 20 followers and prove it to me and I will mail you that book. It is hilarious. It tells you how to properly pronounce orgy. Apparently none of us pronounce it right. I'll write that on my blog too, exactly. The phonetic pronunciation of orgy. So that's job 28. Job 29. I networked for a person called Pierre and he owns a company called Ginad or Gynad. So you spell that G-Y-N-A-D dot com. And um, what he does is he makes human billboards or branded unitards. So my job three in 100 jobs was to wear this white branded unitard and walk around downtown Montreal and like interact with people and give out his business card. And uh, it was... <laughs> It was an experience. Uh, if you want to see the clip, it's on my YouTube, uh, youtube.com slash 100 jobs, spell it out again. And uh, this time I was presenting his idea to a bunch of people at the Montreal Board of Trade. And the reactions there kind of varied from, basically they were laughing, you know, without, while controlling their laughter. So I had these kind of like bemused looks on, on people's faces too not quite understanding what uh, Pierre's business plan is because it's kind of a tough sell. Like, how do you put a price on a unitard and what is he selling precisely? The unitard, the branding of the unitard, booking models. Um, I, I still think that's what he wants to do. Basically, he wants to offer you know, companies the chance to brand their logo on the unitard and then he provides the models who wear the unitards at whatever special event that the company wants to be at. So it was good because we got a lot of feedback and he realized that maybe his name needs to change because Gynad sounds a little bit like gynecologist, um, although he pronounces it Ginad. But then again, it's five letters long and it is memorable. So I, I kind of see his argument to keeping it. And uh, yeah, any networking event, in my opinion, is never a loss because you never know who you're going to meet and just getting feedback from people who don't necessarily know your, your project is always really valuable. So. That was job 29 and job 30 was actually before job 28 and 29. It was last Saturday and I was a model for a young designer called Erica. And Erica needed to shoot last minute her portfolio to get into Ryerson University. So I provided my services as a model. You want to see the pictures, go to 100jobs.blogspot.com. And it was, it was a good experience, but it was really, really rushed because there was just not a lot of time and not a lot of light to shoot. Uh, the session. So that's about it for my week in 100 jobs. I just put out another posting on Montreal Craigslist. So if anybody wants to hire me, I need to start booking more immediate jobs. Like one thing that's frustrating is that I have a lot of employers who are interested in hiring me, but they're not going to do so till March. So I'm kind of holding off on announcing them until they're, they're actually ready to book me. So, uh, yeah, that would be about it. For, for now, for you who are watching me on YouTube, I'm gonna end it there. So I'm really looking for other people to hire me and I'm gonna go pretty soon on hero.com or hirereporter.com and put a blast out about my project. So hopefully I can get something really cool going there and I will keep you updated because like I said at the beginning of this, I am exhausted, but I am persisting and I'm going to use beer to get me there. So. Thank you very much for reading my blog up to this point. I might, might even be changing layouts again because apparently my new layout is too stark. You can't please everyone, can you, right? Just like this beer probably wouldn't please everyone even though it's sweet and caramelly and wonderful. So thanks again and I will see you again soon on 100jobs.blogspot.com.